Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle today with another assembly kit. And this is actually the first jet engine assembly kit I'm gonna try. It was sent to me by Engine Do It Yourself. And this is the WS15 turbo fan engine. I'm not that familiar with jet engines, to be honest. More than 200 parts, it says here on the box. Discover how an engine works. Sounds promising. And by the way, the parts of this jet engine, they are 3D printed. And I'm really interested to see how this turns out. Okay, it says here, the instruction is, can be found by this link. A rod, not sure what this is for. And then here are some of the components. Okay, and this is what the components look like. Definitely, you can see it's printed. Yeah, they do not look like full metal. They look quite good for printed parts, definitely. And some of them have like a rough surface, as you can see here. But I think in this case, for example, it doesn't matter. He's also printed a number because they will be joined like layer by layer. And you will not see this inner part here. It's going to be interesting to see how it will look when assembled. Some more parts in here. Nice parts. Oh man, this looks pretty cool. What else do we got here? Here, some parts of the housing. And also like a motor or something, I think here. Uh, some screws, a lot of screws. <laughs> and some bearings. Oh, nice. Some bearings here. So definitely this will, hopefully this will move. So this is what the instruction looks like. Each step with a picture coming with it. 3D picture and then some text in Chinese and in English. So we're gonna figure out how well this can be understood. I will put this aside. I will look at this, but I will put it aside and then assemble it step by step. Just so you know, I this is not a puzzle. I will follow here step by step the instruction how to assemble it. Looks quite cool. And I would just say, let's get it on. So we got now the compressor, part of the compressor and the fan. And we now have to join it inside of this housing, I think. And there's like a small planetary gear here. And this planetary gear interacts with this shaft and can probably drive this as a, at a different speed as the other stages back here. Yeah. So let's, let's see how this turns out. Here we go. So now I can rotate these three here. And the other three and the other two are static. So the planetary gear works. Fans are spinning. Everything is secured in place and now let's continue with the high pressure compressor stage. So here we go, assembled, spinning smoothly. But before we join these two parts here, those two components like so, um, I think we have to assemble this housing here. Quite impressed so far with all the details and how well this works. Pretty easy to assemble because it's very well explained. Um, and now let's get it on and get it ready. So 
So now we got two parts and you can see how big this thing actually is in the end. Wow, <laughs> pretty impressive. So we got now two assemblies, not parts, assemblies. And now the next task is to bring them together. And I do this by joining the planetary gear and then fixing this flange here to this one, I think. So we basically joining the low pressure compression unit with the high pressure compression unit, which then turns not in the same speed, but in a different one. You can see here, this one gonna turn slowly while this one gonna turn like, we are gonna see later how much times the speed. Okay, it's joined, twists quite well, all parts in place. Now it's getting interesting to get the remaining parts together and then see how it works when I also install the electric motor that should drive the thing. So here we go, some additional pieces joined and wow, and my question is still where does the motor go because the motor does probably need to drive it back here or here or somewhere in between but there was no motor yet so I'm really surprised where the motor is. I haven't seen it also yet in the box so let, let's see. And here, this answers my question, here's the motor, you see guys how do you see how small this motor is? And there is a gearbox with quite a high ratio. It has like one, two, three, four stages. <laughs> so I'm really, really interested to see how much force this little thing can apply on this motor because, or in this turbine, because it's, it's not super hard to turn, as you can see, but I'm not sure if this small thing can do it. So this is gonna be surprising. Let's see. All parts together there comes also a stand with it and I just put some batteries inside so they are just standard batteries inside just put the stand in here if I turn it on now let's see how loud this is Wow oh my gosh this is when it's running the motor is it's not super silent but it's more silent than I expected. 
and it's running quite well and you can also not clamp your fingers so if you if you just grab something here inside it will just stop spinning okay so this is kind of safe i would say um let me just turn it off again to explain you a bit about what you see in case you don't know and if i explain something wrong feel free to correct me in the comments of course yeah i'm not an expert in this so i think it's clear to everyone air comes in here okay it's sucked in by these fan blades here in the front which is called the low compression stage until here and then part of the air is guided outside here in this channel while also part of the air is entering the high compression stage and here the air is compressed with each blade more and more and more until it enters in here the combustion chamber so this is the combustion chamber what happens in the car usually in a piston happens here without moving parts and with a constant airflow so there is fuel injected here it's ignited i think temperatures here around something between two and three thousand degrees so there's some ceramic coating on these parts and afterwards the exhaust the high energy exhaust is going through here and getting in contact with the turbine stage the turbine stage is back here and it will transfer part of the energy of this exhaust into torque and guide it with a shaft and it will guide it through the center with this metal shaft until here to the low compression stage so basically the turbine back here is driving the turbine over here which is sucking in the air so it's like a closed loop system let's say compression high compression combustion turbine turbine is driving here the low compression again and the airflow that goes around here is then mixed back here in this mixer with the high pressure airflow and is used on one hand to generate higher thrust but also lower the noise level of the engine okay this is very basic a very basic explanation how this works however what do i think about this model i think um, from my point of view this is quite a high quality for a printed model everything works perfect not a single part broke during the assembly very smooth if you rotate it it operates very smooth i think it's a very cool display piece so from my point of view it's definitely recommendable if you're interested i'll put your link in the video description where you can get this one and that's it for today next time we're gonna review another puzzle of course this time an assembly kit and if you would like to see another jet engine in the future a full metal kit let me know in the comments that's it for today and until next time keep on puzzling